Hi guys, hi, 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 hi. My name is George Asian. Welcome to a brand new class where I would have lessons taught us about public speaking, about how to become better communicators, dynamic communicators, commanding communicators. And today I want us to talk, I want us to talk today about um, finding your voice finding your voice in a world that has a cacophony of voices. I want us to talk about how you can project your voice and how you can interest people. One of the ways to interest any audience or any place or any people is to find your voice. When you find your voice, you become a force. When you find your voice, you become a force in generation. The reason a lot of people are not forces in their generation is because they have not found their voice. When you find your voice, you become a force. Let me take it a step further. When you find your voice, you attract your force or your forces. People who will support you, people who can support you, your team members, your, I mean, people who believe in what you're doing will start gathering around you we start congregating around you because you have found your voice. So when you find your voice, you become a force. When you find your voice, you attract your force. Now, so here's the thing. The question now is, what does it mean to find your voice? What does it mean to find your voice? In this world, I'm gonna share with you what it means. If you want to be a great speaker, if you want to be a great, a commanding communicator, if you want to be a dynamic communicator, a communicator that will make impact, you've got to find your voice. And what does it mean to find your voice? To find your voice simply means to find your purpose or your reason for existence. To find your voice means to find your assignments, what you've been assigned to do on earth, to realize that you're not a wandering generality you're not among the masses, but you are a meaningful specific. That when God, your manufacturer, created you, the product, there was a reason for your existence. There is a reason for your existence. The moment you identify your purpose, your reason, you have found your voice, literally. So finding your voice is finding your life goal. Finding your voice is finding your message. Finding your voice is finding what you are supposed to sing about, what you're supposed to talk about, that project you should be doing, and that is how to become an impactful speaker. There was a scripture in the Bible that really got me thinking. I think it's in John 10. And Jesus was talking, was saying, he said something. He said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Now, that seems like a very simple statement, right? No, sir. It's not a very simple statement. It's a very interesting statement. He said, my sheep hear my voice. What does that mean? It means here, this is what it means. It means that every voice has a sheep. There is no plural for sheep. So every job has a following. Every job has a large number of 18. And whenever you speak your voice, they will hear, they are apt to hear your voice. And beyond just being apt to hear your voice, they will follow you. So one of the fastest ways to persuade people and to get with your line of thinking and to build a team and a huge following is to find your voice because your sheep will hear your voice and they will follow you. That's a very strong statement. Now, when Jesus gave that statement, made that statement, this how it used to work in ancient Palestine. Perhaps this picture will help you get what I'm talking about. When the headsmen or the shepherds, as we were called back then, um, had they, they gather together and then they have their sheep graze. So this this headsman or, or a shepherd, you know, let me call it shepherd, so you don't get any ideas about headsmen. This shepherd would have his own head of sheep. This other shepherd would have his own head of sheep, and they're grazing together, they're sitting down, very having conversation. When it's time for one of them to leave or to continue on his nomadic journey, that fellow will stand up. That shepherd will stand up and will make a certain sound, will make a certain sound with his mouth, like maybe or moo, 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 whatever sound it is. The moment he makes that sound, the moment he makes that sound, 
his own sheep will rise up from the head, will rise up from the lot and follow him. So when Jesus was saying, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me, that's what he meant. It means that whenever you go to an environment, you found your voice and you start to speak, your people will follow you. And that's why you should never ever be in competition with anybody. The moment you've found your assignment, you have found your purpose, you have found your life mission, and you start to speak. You have found your voice, you found your message, and you start to speak. People that are meant to follow you will follow you. They are apt to hear your voice and they follow you. This is very striking. Every voice has a team. Every voice has a force. And the moment you find your voice, you become a force. So, but you see, interestingly, a lot of people don't know this and then they get confused. A lot of people don't know that we have different kinds of voices. We have different kinds of voices. And not everybody will follow you. Not everybody will listen to you. Not everybody will pay attention to you. The people who will pay attention to you are your people. But they will not even pay attention to you if you don't find your voice. In fact, as a matter of fact, other voices will recognize your voice when they realize that you have found your voice. That leads me to a very important concept. And that concept are different kinds of, when it comes about voices, the different kinds of things, concept I want us to pay attention to. The first concept is whispers. People who whisper. And they whisper because they are afraid. They whisper because they are suffering from glossophobia, stage fright. They have lots to say, they have a secret, they have message, they have unique ideas, but they are afraid to speak up or speak up. They are afraid to speak in the marketplace, they are afraid to speak in, in front of the congregation, they are afraid to speak in the audience, so they are called whisperers. They only whisper because of fear. And are you a whisperer listening to me? It's high time you break out of that whisper and start projecting your voice. You've got to find, and a lot of times, the reason why they whisper is because they are unsure that what they are saying is authentic, is valid, is profound, is unique, and so they whisper. A second set of people, another concept I want us to pay attention, are, is the concept called echoes. Who are the echoes? Now, the echoes, you know, what, you know, you know what an echo is? When you say something, these guys literally, you know, they, they respond back to you. They literally respond back to you. The echoes are people who repeat what others are saying. They keep repeating what others say. They keep repeating what others are saying. They keep repeating what others say. They never truly, really, you know, have their own voice. They repeat. My papa said, my daddy said, never say their own thing. They're called echoes. Are you an echo? The third concept I want to pay attention to is noise makers. Noise makers, it doesn't make noise. They say a lot, but they're saying nothing significant. They have no true message. They have no significant, unique message. The third kind of, the fourth kind of persons that we have are harmonizers. These guys are the blenders. They're very similar to the echoes. They blend with people. You know, in music, you have the treble, you have the alto, you have the bass. They, maybe they're the bass, maybe they're the tenor. They want to blend with others. They want to say what others are saying and not, you know, want to be part of a team. They like to be part of a team than to say or sing or preach or share their own messages. And the last concept I want to pay attention is they are the soloists. Uh, it's what I call soloists. S O L O I S T. Soloists are people who have found their voice, who want to sing their song, who want to preach their own message, who want to say their own thing. They are called the soloists. When you find your voice, you become a soloist. You become someone that matters in life. You become a force to be recognized. So today I share with you and I tell you, my dear friends, I want you to make up your mind to find your voice. How do you find your voice? I give ideas. Look up to your maker who created you through prayer and meditation. He'll give you a message, your purpose, your assignment. Look around you to what people are saying about you, what equipment, what materials, what human resources are available, what people are saying, what circumstances are available to you. Look around you. Number three, look within you. Look within you to find out what talents, what giftings, what abilities you have. And when you do that, when you look up, look around, and look within, you will find your voice. That's my message for today. I'm sure you got value. 
So find your voice. When you find your voice, you will become a force. And when you become a force, you will attract your forces. I'll see you some other time. God bless you.